On Tuesday, Louisiana Senator John Kennedy questioned Deandra Benderman, President Biden's nominee to be United States Circuit Judge for the Fourth Circuit. Kennedy, a hardline anti-crime conservative, focused on Benjamin's record as a judge on the South Carolina Circuit Court for the 5th District. Kennedy jumped right to the case of Albertus Lewis, which his colleagues Marsha Blackburn and Ted Cruz also honed in on. Benjamin issued a bond to a suspect named Albertus Lewis, who when let out of prison, allegedly committed more violent crimes. Kennedy pressed Benjamin on her reasoning, though she dodged questions about whether or not she thought Lewis was guilty. Benjamin has claimed her actions came out of a commitment to the Speedy Trial Clause, but critics have accused her of being soft on crime. Kennedy has long complained that President Biden and his judicial nominees are not strong enough on crime and have prioritized criminals' rights above victims. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Judge, congratulations. Thank you. I, I want to try to understand the facts on some of these cases. Yes, sir. The Albertus Lewis case. Um, he shot his girlfriend in the head, is that correct? Senator, um, as I stated, I'm not sure if you were in here earlier, that case is still pending. He's not been convicted of any of those charges. And so I have to be really careful in how I uh, frame did my he, question. Did he shoot his girlfriend in the head? Senator, I don't, I, based on, those were the allegations that are, those are the allegations of the charge, yes. So you're saying he didn't shoot his girlfriend in the head? He is, he has not been convicted of anything, is my understanding. It's a, and I know it's a very old case, it's 2017. Well, when you but, granted him bond, did you think he had shot his girlfriend in the head? He was charged with shooting his girlfriend in, in the head, wasn't he? Thank you, um, Senator. He, You're those, welcome. those are the allegations. He, when he initially appeared before me, okay. I denied his bond based right. on let me, everything. Let me, let me start over. Me. Okay, um, Mr. Lewis was charged and arrested, so presumably there was probable cause. Was shooting his girlfriend in the head and putting her body in a wheelchair and dumping her outside the hospital. Those were the allegations. Is that right? Those, I believe those were the allegations, yes. Okay. And you gave uh, Mr. L Mr. Lewis bond, is that right? No, that's incorrect, Senator. I denied his bond. When he appeared before me in July of 2017. So you didn't give him bond? He didn't release him? I denied his bond. It was two Did years later. Did you ultimately late, release him? Two years later after the state violated Did the you grant order. his bond? I'm just trying to understand the facts. Yes, sir. two years later after you this You granted his bond. When he initially appeared before me, I denied the bond. It was two years after okay. that I granted a bond. You, you did grant the bond? After the violation by the right. state of, his, of, his, of the court order to try his case and discovery rules. And then he went out and tried to kill two sheriff's deputies while using a baby as a human shield, allegedly. Is that right? Those are the allegations in the other case, yes. Okay. Would he been able to do that if you hadn't let him go? Thank you, uh, Senator. You're I, welcome. I, when he appeared before me, he, um, I denied his bond. He appeared before me again, at which point... And you let him go? He, the state violated his, the state violated the order of the okay. court, but I'm just and I said it sufficiently You let bond. him go. If you hadn't have let him go, then he could not have tried to kill two sheriff's deputies using a baby, a child, as a human shield. Factually, is that correct? I, I'm not sure, Senator. Oh, I think you are. Let me ask you about Kelly Honeywell. You remember that name? Um. Senator, I had I did not have any involvement in that actual case, but I am familiar with what you're referring to. Okay. Uh, do you remember Troy Stevenson? Yes. All right. Troy Stevenson was arrested, allegedly, for shooting Kelly Honeywell, Honeywell killing her, murdering her at a bakery. Mr. Honeywell was arrested, and Mr. Honeywell allegedly was a member of a gang, he owned, owned guns, and he did drugs, okay? You granted Mr. Stevenson bail, is that right? 
I didn't, on that, in that case, I did not set bail uh, bond in that case um, when he was charged with um, murder. You didn't let him go? Not on the, I did not set the bond on the murder charge. Who did? I don't believe, I don't know who's. Uh, well, how did he get out of jail? On the, are you asking about the murder charge? M what I'm asking, and I think you know what I'm asking. Mr. H Mr. Stevenson allegedly was arrested for shooting this bakery worker in the head. And he was granted bail. He was let out. You didn't grant the bail? No, sir. Who did? I, I, he, my understanding is his bond was denied in that case on the, on the murder case. Mr. Stevenson, I believe, after trial was found not guilty of those charges. But I did not set the bond on the murder case. I did not try the case on the murder case. I did not set the bond on the murder case. Okay. I think I'm out of time. Thanks, Judge. Right, thank you. Senator Lee. Is that true? Thank you very much.